Hello there guys and girls, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this one is actually a cheeky little title update because this is the new norm now. Uh, so what the good folks over at Grim Talon have done is added a new update with 13 new achievements worth 1000 gamer score. Sadly though, for those who are used to the Jitalon way of uh, sort of taking 25 steps to get your 1k, this time you'll have to put just a little bit of work <laughs> in this time round. I know, mad right? Uh, but still it's very easy, so what we need to do then is basically there is a new challenge mode, which thanks to this guide and the written solutions isn't very challenging at all. 16 levels, like I said with the written solutions will be at the top. Uh, but after we do those and get three stars on everything, there'll be a few quick mis uh, miscellaneous achievements to get, like go over 20 campfires, hit 10 rooms, etc. And this date update can be done within 30 minutes or less, or your pizza's free. Hooray! So, <laughs> with that being said then, let's begin. Now, I'm pretty sure if you even haven't played the game yet, you can still access challenge mode immediately if you would have rather knocked this DLC on the head. So, there he is then, old... Uh, uh, Man, my, my eyes are bad. I can't read his name right now. But as soon as you uh, click on the challenges, we will get the first achievement called Are You Ready? And then, well, there's nothing else to do except do the challenges. So, like I said, just like in the uh, main game, if you've already seen the main game, I will have left the video running like it is. So you can either copy exactly what I do here, or you can just follow the written solutions at the top. It is completely up to you. Uh, also, one tiny little thing I haven't put in the video because somehow I forgot it, but basically if you just start a level, move once and then press the X button, you'll get an achievement uh, called From the Top and that is for using the Quick Restart button. So just literally press the X button as you start a level and you'll get that one, but I don't show it in the video because I don't know why. So anyway, let's just enjoy. I'm not going to be talking over the whole thing because... Well, as usual, you want a bit of peace and quiet, don't you? Let's be honest. So, like I said, we'll just smash through the 16 levels. Shouldn't take you any more than sort of maybe between 15, 15 to 20 minutes. And obviously, you can probably tell by now, U means up, L means left, down means da. Down means da, D means down, Jesus Christ. And R means right, obviously. So, just enjoy and I shall be with you very shortly.
by the way, you'll have to excuse. Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome back. By the way, you'll have to excuse. Um, really, the walkthrough wasn't fantastic. I was playing this at one o'clock in the morning, almost falling asleep, which is why some of the levels may seem to have taken a little bit longer, etc., etc. But anyway, well done. We've done the challenges. Now, what we can do, if you press the X button, that's what we're going to do now. We should you, now you should have unlocked two achievements. So, including the restart button achievement from the top you should now have four achievements but if you press the X button and then press the right trigger button for song um, this is for listening to a chapter song now I have actually muted the music here just because of copyright woes and issues once again what we're gonna do next is press the Y button to go into your balls and there are three new balls for us to unlock Sadly, none of them are blue. We've already um, got our blue balls done, but press the X button to unlock it, providing you've got enough coins, which if you had followed the main game and, of course, done the challenges already for this game, you should have more than enough coins to unlock all of those. Right, next up, what we're going to do is use the undo button ten times in a level. So, there we go. Just go on the same level that I've done there. I've mainly gone on this one for the teleporting, but basically all you need to do is just go in one direction and then press the B button. Just keep doing that 10 times until the achievement unlocks. Very, very simple. So, yeah. It's not quite Jitalon style, take three steps and then you've got a million game score. But, you know, it's still it's still relatively easy. Relatively fun. So, we're just going to keep doing that for the time being. So, just keep moving and then press the B button. It basically just undoes your move once. Now, you can keep doing this over and over again. But the other achievements, um, like for hitting 10 runes, etc., we've actually got to hit hit it once, quit out of the level, and then do it again. So, But again, we, we'll come up to that in just a moment. So we've got that one. No, no, no! No! Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I seem to have pooped a little. But what we're going to do now is basically just keep going through this teleporter 50 times. That's for the next achievement, the longest achievement well, the longest mis miscellaneous missable achievement, anyway. Uh, so just keep going through these two portals. That is why I specifically chose this level there. Um, obviously, I'm just going to cut it down slightly as well. I'm not going to show you all the 50. But eventually, there we go. We are going to teleport 50 times, and that is nice. So now what we are going to be doing is putting out 20 campfires. Now, you can do these achievements in any order, but, you know, might as well just go with me and it. Because you love me. You want my babies. But go on level 8. And basically just copy the exact same way that I've done. So right, left, up. Right, down, left. That will extinguish all 6. Um, I find this level the best because it does have the most. And um, we've obviously already gone over a couple of campfires anyway. So this should only take you maybe once, uh, once or twice. Finishing or completing this level to get the extinguisher achievement. Next, we are going to do the matchmaker achievement for connecting 10 crystal statues to crystal pillars. Now, if we go to level 5 right there, all you need to do is just press the down button once. Ah, my favourite person, my favourite Austrian just sent me a message there. Um, yeah, so that's all we need to do then. So, again, like I said earlier, we can only do this once per level for some reason. So, just go down, leave... And just keep doing it again then. So just keep doing that until the achievement unlocks. Again, because we would have done this a couple of times through the challenge modes. Um, you shouldn't have to do it all that often. Sorry, lost my train of thought for a second there. So just keep knobbing this one out. <laughs> knobbing this one, that's not a word, is it? There we go, so we've knobbed it out. I'm making it a word now. Yep, so we've knobbed that one out. Now we're going to be... <clears throat> oh god, excuse me. We're going to be activating 10 rune pillars now. So go to level 11. <clears throat> excuse me. And basically what we need to do is hit the pillar on the left first because it's the one that's lit up. The one on the right won't actually count. So just follow the path I do then. Um, you can probably find an easier path to be honest. But just like the, uh, just like the first one, this won't take too long as we've hit a couple of rune pillars in... Uh, during the challenges, etc. Um, so yeah, you'll probably find an easier way to do that. <laughs> well, as you can see there, I ran out of moves, which is all good, but 
because we've got the achievement. But they are the runes anyway, and that is the best place to get them on level 11. Next up, we're going to open 15 treasure chests. So if you go there, like you've seen, to level 15, you can literally press down once and then right once. And we, again, what we'll have to do is leave the level. I just find that the easiest instead of walking around, you know, all the level. Just, yeah, yeah, literally that's all we're going to be doing is leaving level 15 down once, right once. And then that will be the penultimate achievement. Tidy boys! There we go, look. So, that is for collecting 15 treasure chests. Now, as you can see on the left-hand side, um, it's got sort of three colours. It's got a the uh, by the white button, basically that's the hint. Now, what you're supposed to do is actually just wait until the bar is full at the very, very top. Like you can see as it is now. Um, now, in the original game, we only had to use the hint once. Could have just been with the bronze there at the bottom. But this time, we've got to go for a gold-tipped hint. I've got a gold tip. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, I would have to see a doctor for that. Um, but basically, yeah, so what you'll have to do, it does take a while, so if it's not all the way at the top, just wait until it is all the way at the top, gold level, and just press the white button once, and that is what will unlock us the achievement, and unlock us this very easy 1,000 out of 1,000 with the title update. So, and again, by the way, that can take up to about five, six, maybe seven minutes if it's not already full to the top. So, there we go then, guys and gals. Another nice, easy title update for us. Again, we did have to put in a little bit more work uh, rather than pressing start and then walking around for one minute. But <laughs> we did it anyway. So, congratulations. Another easy, cheeky 1,000. But thanks so much for watching, guys and gals. Again, if this video helped, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Don't forget, of course, to check me out on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the show and the channel on Patreon. And, well, I guess that's it then. Thank you, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. B -b -b Big love.